Welcome back. It's Chili Davis. I'm here to do another video. And today's video is about uh, the IPO stock Diddy. Uh, Chinese ride hailing company Diddy became a retail favorite on the first day of trading. So um, here it is. We have the company Diddy. Uh, I thought it would go to you know, $20 per share. Uh, it spiked up to $16.51 per share. And then it began to uh, pair off, cool off. So right now it's trading about $14 per share. And that's all we got. Uh, the information we have is very limited. And um, it's exciting as, you know, you know, from the article, it says that a lot of people did buy into it. So it's great. Uh, now we just have to wait with time to see what the stock is going to do. Uh, the biggest thing is what, uh, you know, IPO stocks is now you need a quarter to two quarters or maybe more to uh, understand how the stock will trade. So right now, we don't know. We don't know if it's going to continue to go up or we don't know if it's continue to go down. So uh, that's the trick. Uh, what I like to do is call it, do a strategy like on consignment. So that means I buy half now in this first quarter, this first three months of the stock trading, and then I buy another half in the next quarter. And you can do that in all four quarters. You can say, hey, look, if I'm gonna do, um, you know, 100 shares in Diddy, what I'll do is the first three months of the year, the first three months, to, excuse me, the first three months the stock is trading, I'll buy 25 shares. After they come out of their first earnings call, I'll buy another 25 shares. And when they come out of the third earnings call, I may buy another 50 shares. So that's just my particular uh, thinking and my strategy is to buy half now, half later after each earnings call to see how well the stock is performing. So I just want to give you a, a quick brief history. I bought Neo uh, back in 2018, and I got it like... A friend of mine, she called me, she was excited. I was excited. Uh, and Neil had a story on 60 Minutes and they were talking about being the next you know, EV giant, just like Tesla. And we both bought the stock uh, right here. We bought the stock right here. It was, uh, yeah, it was early in the year. Uh, we bought the stock right here at eight, eight $9 per share. And we were so excited. So it went from $8 to $10. Uh, and, you know, we thought, oh, this, this bad boy is going to 20. Well, that's not what happened. After um, March, this stock steadily, steadily fell and fell and fell. Um, I, I sold when it got to $4 because I was like, I'm out. I, you know, felt like I lost half my money. So I sold. Well, anyway, this is how long you might have to wait to get your money back if this thing hits bad news. So it was literally a year and a half almost. So May 20. And yeah, so you literally had to wait a whole year for the stock to recover. So that, that is the whole story behind Neo. Yes, you do hear the wonderful, uh, you know, $40 per share story. Oh my gosh, Neil, so great. I doubled my money, et cetera, or I tripled or quadrupled my money. But this is this may be the rocky road ahead for Diddy. So I just want you guys to be conscious of that, that IPOs are fun. They can be great, but be believe it or not, they have, you know, a lot of um, volatility. So be mindful of that. Uh, you can use my strategy, which is buy now, buy half now, buy half later, and then buy another half after the next earnings call. Also, I had a uh, Facebook post I saw, and this is talking about gains needed to recover from X losses. This is Peter Lynch. He's one of the uh, most famous, well-known um, investors of our time, and he talks about Selling your winners and holding your losers is like cutting flowers and watering weeds. So what he's saying there is like, 
you know, when, even when you're selling your winners, but you decide to, you know, uh, hold on to your losses, it, you have to do that much more work to, to gain back your money. So that means if you get, if you, this is, this is one of the things I want to encourage people to do is put in a, a stop loss. You know, if you're buying a stock and you don't know how it's going to trade and you don't have any, you know, past history on it, like a Microsoft or anything like that, put a 10% stop loss. That's going to save you a lot of money because after that, for the stock to come back from a, a 30%, it's going to take a lot more, of, uh, you know, information and stuff for the stock to come back. So if you, if you ever get in a situation where you're down 10%, you might want to cut. But then you have to decide also the, the time horizon you're holding the stock. If you're looking to hold the stock over a year, a 10% loss may not be that bad. But if you're holding the stock for more than a year and you're still in the 20% in the, the, uh, loss, then probably you're doing something wrong. So that's why we talk about dollar cost averaging because you can always dollar cost average your way back into the positive especially if you know that, the, you know, in the case of the NEO, um, what people probably did was they, you know, these people here, me and my friend, we got burnt. We just totally lucked out. You know, we sold here in August, you know, three or four months later. These, this group or batch of investors came in in November, you know, they said, shoot, what the heck? It's, it's a dollar ninety four per share. These people got excited. They bought in. They averaged in. Averaged in. They bought, you know, some at dollar ninety four. They bought some at three twenty one. They bought some more at nine thirty eight. They won. Then when the stock hit twenty dollars per share, they won. So, you know, you have to have a strategy when you're buying these stocks, even if it's a new IPO stock. We don't know. It 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 could go. This stock right now can go from Diddy can go from you know fourteen dollars a share up to you know thirty dollars a share or twenty dollars a share. We don't know at this time, but what we do know is as each week passes, each quarter passes, we get more information and we understand how the stock trades and you know how high the fifty-two week high is going to be. Like right now, this this is just not enough information. This saying a 52 week high of $18, you're going to need more information. And then I also I took a look, look at the weekly um, chart and there's just no no information. So you're not you're not going to be able to tell you know which which way or the stock is going. You know, right now it looks as a, as a candle pointing up, but that but that's not enough information versus a fully uh, stock that's been out on the market. This is Neo here. Look at the chart. We can see it. Okay, the 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 candle is open and it's surging, and then the lowest the stock Neo could fall back to right now is forty dollars per share. So this is what you get when you have a stock that's been on the stock market for a while. You can you can buy a lot of it because you've got a track record that you can base it on. You've got all this track record now that you could base Neo on, but you don't have that yet for uh, Diddy. So this was just a quick video where I wanted to talk about Diddy, the new uh, uber light stock, the Chinese vehicle ride hailing, ride sharing uh, company, um, and investing in new IPOs, the risk uh, versus the rewards versus the longer time horizon it is to understand how the company's going to make that company continue to generate revenue and uh, expand its business over time. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you on the next video.